Michael here again. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster Air plus Greg Tech plus Galactic Craft. Right, uh, this is episode 6, I think. Now, I want to start off by saying last episode we found out that Blood Magic won't work due to Galactic Craft. It's a known issue. It's on the Galactic Craft forums. It's something. Uh, it's something Galactic Craft's causing because Blood Magic works with other mods. You know what I mean? So it's not. I don't think it's something in Blood Magic. It l looks to be from my uneducated point of view something to do with galactic craft so it needs mcdoodle 8 to fix it i believe now i really want to play with galactic craft but blood magic blood magic is a core mod of this mod pack so uh, i'm not really sure what to do i'd like your opinions on it if you think i should leave galactic craft out until blood magic gets fixed let me know that if you think i should leave galactic craft in and hope for it gets fixed and then do blood magic later on if and when Galactic Craft gets fixed, then let me know if you think I should do that. But as as it is for the now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to carry on going with Galactic Craft in. But I would like to hear your opinions on it. So let me know what you think. Now I'm going to go a little bit off tangent today. I uh, <laughs> met a man's called me a chump by Skype. Put me on for a second. Um, Right, so uh, what we've got on here, cow farm, sheep farm, rotary craft star, and plate bending machine. Well, I'm not going to do any of them. What I'm going to do is magenta potion crystal is what I'm going to go for. Now, I'm going to start off going for that. Check this out. These these magenta crystals that I've got, the one up there giving me regen right now, look. We can make them into these things. Uh potion crystal now it's quite heavy two obsidian a block of gold a glowstone now i don't make a block of glowstone that's a silk touch eye because i'm going to need a compressor otherwise uh no i'll make you how make compressor compactor eh? interesting blaze powder uh compressor and compact that's the only way so i'm going to have to silk touch a glowstone block for it okay that's good to know and the other bit we need there is a redstone block. Now, redstone block, that's just coloured redstone block, but it's just a redstone block. Compressor or induction smelter. So, I think I'm going to go for the induction smelter. Now, I, sh I should really, let me just check the compressor recipe. See how nuts Greg is. Now, I'm doing Greg tips, so I should, probably should go the IC2 route. I've not done any IC2 in 1.6 yet. Compressor, compressor. Compressor, come on. Is it that one? Not showing me a recipe for it anyway. Automatic compressor, very basic, steel machine -al. So that of course needs steel plates, which needs a plate bending and thing. Okay, um Well, I think I'm gonna go with induction smelter to start with. Because as I've said in this series I want the redstone flux weapons to be my main type of weapon. So I'm doing I'm gonna be doing so, um, I see uh, thermal expansion anyway. Um, I want to show you a couple of things that I found while I've been out and about mining. I've just been looking and I found two ferrosol which we need for invar, of course. Not uh, not tin. We need nickel for invar. You can see there, if I use this mimic rate, I can get two. I'm going to use that. What I'm going to do is, the other day when I was messing around, I actually made a grinder from. Um, from Rotary Craft and look at that, that gives you three, three nickel flakes and nickel flake, flake smell into nickel. So I should be able to get six nickel flakes from this. So I'm going to go and start by working out how that grinder thing works. So the grinder's over here. Now I might need some canola. So we'll see when we get over there. So the grinder's over here. Um. So I made this when I started to think I needed gears, I believe. Did I make it or did I do it in creative? In a single player. No, I did make one. Okay. So I made one and I've got some canola seeds, which we used to make. Oh yeah, because I stood on this and it damaged me. I, forgot, I don't know if I mentioned that. It was quite funny. Um, in a shit kind of way. I've got no enderpels yet, so I can't make engine control or anything. So I'm still a little bit stumped with all this lot. Now I'm just going to put that down... Like so. Put it down the wrong way. Left my screwdriver in the air. Uh, in the other place, I think. I'll put it down like so. 
There we go. So that engine is now feeding into it. If I put some stuff in there, so I think the first thing I need is lubricant, which is from canola. So let's grab a bit of lubricant. I don't want to use all this up. That's because that's I think the mistake I made before was I put a full stack of that in and it lasts an hour. So let's put a couple of them in. And this stuff makes, I believe, lubricant. And then we can take it out of there in buckets so we can pipe it out, I believe. So let's see what happens here. So that engine's good enough to power that. I don't think these little DC ones are. I think I checked that. I don't think there was enough to power this grinder thing. So what's that done? That's maybe a tiny little bit of lubricant look. Okay, so that's good to know. This is actually sure. Now there we go, look. This didn't show before, did it? So if I put in if I put in a full stack of that I'd get an hour's worth or something. Over an hour's worth. We'll go we've put four in, we've got yeah, you get an hour's worth. So each of these ethanol crystals last a minute, which is nice. And that is getting me lubricant, which is also nice. So now I am gonna grind up these two ferrosaurs. And that'll get us a uh, should be six nickel ingots, which is enough for so quite a few fer uh, ferrous ingots. So you get three for every one. So 18. So there we go. So that should get me enough for 18 fer um, invar ingots. Which is a start, isn't it? So there we go. That's a nice little uh, helpful bit. And I don't need four minutes worth in there. Well, I can, I suppose. Just bang that canola in. Wherever that was. Now, this canola, if you put them into a nine, they become like these storage blocks, like you do with a normal... Uh, Iron ingots or whatever. If you don't, if you've not got grid ticket, of course. So, I might as well leave them in there grinding up. Now, let's just see, do these ones go in as well? Okay, they do. So, do they take miles longer? Oh, maybe they don't then. That was shown straight away, wasn't it? Okay, so maybe I have to break them back down to use them. Uh, so, there we go. There's our first little bit of rotary craft processing then. We have made six nickel flakes which of course could have been more if we were running through that but we're not quite at that stage yet uh, Florian did give me a good idea to use a directional clutch I had a little go on it in single player I, um, I, I think I need more torque still than just one engine but I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at that later oh I've got 31 levels I should go and use them let's go and enchant now I've had this the second time I've been up to 30 levels the first time I enchanted I got very nice on the helmet. Protection 4, Respiration 3, and Breaking 3. Which is really good. It's not repair, but it's good. And breaking will mean it should last long enough till I get repair. So I can now... Um, I'm going to go with Boots. Boots next. And I never do this right, but... Well, if you keep doing this, you sometimes can get a real big load of stuff. <laughs> a real big load of stuff. Yeah, that looks like a big load of stuff, doesn't it? Oh, that's got to give us... Eh, that's cool. Again, still no... Um, repair. I've been a bit unlucky with that. There is a cheaty way of getting repair. You can just... If you make a Thalmium hoe, and then... Uh, ah, that's where they are. I wonder where they were. Cool. If you make a Thalmium hoe, you can just repair... Enchant that, and that'll always get repaired. Then you can disenchant it using the... Um, also disenchanter and you can get repair book well, I don't want to do that just yet I'm going to try and do it legit uh, so while I was down down in the air mining about I wonder if uh, well, I'm going on a tangent here will that double them up? no it won't good I've got quite a bit of this mimic crate stuff I'm going to use it for something useful um, while I've been down in the air looking for that ferrous I found these two things we've seen them before haven't we that red, that red granite cobbles I've seen that down under the base here. I've done a bit of mine under the base. I've done a bit of mine in that in that big hill. Um, so that stuff, if you look, check this out, if you smelt it, come red granite, and then if you look at that, you can turn it into bricks. And if you check that out, mobs can't spawn on this block. So that's the kind of thing I like to use for my floors. You don't have to light up things. So you don't have to have torches everywhere if you've got floors that mobs can't spawn on. So I like that. And there's red, and I also found some black, but my pick, as you can see, is uh, getting pretty hammered. So I, I've had to stop mining. Um, there's a the black stuff as well, you smelt that and then oops, 
you can smelt that up and you can make that into these black bricks mobs can't spawn on them so that's very useful uh, now I've got full fortune I'm getting miles more of these magic essence things so how did I do them again was it like that yeah that, get me them, that gets me them ones doesn't it let's say uh, strong is one okay so I need some of them left still let's go with another seven and then another one that gets me oh no I need another two tonight there we go oh look at that looks like I've got the right amount and then they go like so with there gets gets with two more of them strong ones. So now I've got in total I've got three strong ones. And I'm working towards these ones that are extreme. So I need eight strong ones and one of them to get to the extreme. And then the extreme is the one that we can make we need four of. So it's gonna be a long way still. But um extreme are the ones that we can make. Ooh, interesting. You can make push uh books. Out of them, I guess. <laughs> um, I'll check that out here. We can actually make enchanting books. Interesting. Um, so, yeah, and well done. I also found one of these essence berry bushes. We are going to get on with sorting something out for that as well. So, I have got the ability now to smelt these. I'm going to use coal. I was hoping I'd have a lava crystal by now, but. Um, it's like I'm stuck on coal. My inventories are all a mess. There's just no space left anywhere. Um, things have got all hectic and busy. As I'm sure you can see. Uh, I've done like a bit of manual mining. I've not really processed m many ores. Because I'm trying to hold on. So I can get to this rotary craft extractor thing. So I'm trying to hold back as much as I can. Before I start actually cooking stuff up. So I'm going to be cooking stuff as I need it. Rather than all the time you know what I mean uh, now I'm gonna need 12 iron and I'm gonna have to use a manual grinder to grind them back into dust again now I'll stick them in there I'm gonna grind them into dust eh, should I use ore? should probably use ore right I'll cut camera I'll get these grown into dust and we'll be back and we'll make some invar back in a sec okay then here we are I am back and in there I have got 12 iron dust and 6 nickel dust, which we can now form into small pile. Oh, you son of a bitch, Greg. You're kidding me, are you? What? Uh, <laughs> okay, that makes sense. So none of them. What? Let's see how this goes. It looks like it's the only way I'm going to be able to do this. Um, gets me 54 of them, which gets me 13 in bad dust. So not quite the 18 I was going for, but uh, not bad. Not bad. Thanks, Greg. So that'll get us some in bar ingots. And uh, well, that's cooking up. I want to mention, let's make sure that gives me something normal and not crazy. In bar ingots. Thank you very much. Um, Capto, a long time subscriber, full of useful information, has given me a little tip saying that I can put a redstone, I can put a lever on these and that turns them on and off. I tried that previously in Unleashed, I think. I didn't think it worked back then, but it looks like it does now. But there's an even, there's an even better way of doing this, and someone else let me know this one, and I apologise because. Oh, what's going on there? The, uh, oh no, it's there. The clock went in there. there. Um, even better way of doing this is make some fluid ducts from thermal expansion and you can actually get rid of the faucet and you can pop a fluid duct straight on there and I'm sure one two three four yeah I had some fluid ducts already so I didn't need to make them more um, but you can put that on there and then with your omni wrench or whatever wrench you're using I made an omni wrench the other day by the way it's just uh, tin and iron which are nice oh crescent hammer sorry not an omni wrench um, crescent hammer so that would do the same thing as um, the faucet and the redstone signal will. That will just put things straight into the ingot casts. That's a really nice way of doing it. You just need to turn it on and off 
when you want to play so with the crescent hammer and another really useful tip and i should have i certainly should have got the person's name it's uh, oh, ninja isn't it? ninja something thank you very much dude this is a really cool tip instead of bringing up buckets of lava that's uh i never thought about doing this like this before but instead of bringing up buckets of lava i can just drop down here Wee splash and place this down and this retains its inventory so i can place this down i can sort my bucket out let me uh it's like i've done this before look. um i can just fill that guy with lava down here then i can break it again and take it back up with me so i'll cut camera again i'll meet you back up there we've got some in there um i'll actually i'll get a little bit more steel med and get some um get a machine frame med and i'll meet you back when i've got that done as well there we go we're full awesome i can go back there for now and um, i'll take it with me why not so i can break that look and that's showing nothing in it but if you're looking at there it contains lava four buckets worth awesome meet you back up there right then i'm back and even though i brought that lava up i probably won't be using the smell too much because of course i can just uh check this out um oh, run out of air we're not worth it all. Give it another minute's worth. Oops. Boop. There we go. And I can, of course, triple my iron. So rather than putting iron into the smeltery there, I can triple it for doing this. Now, can I cook it up in the smeltery still? We shall find out in just a second, I guess. Um, if you look at flakes, you can see you can cook up, you can grind up everything in that grinder. Everything. Even stuff that's from, um, like, Ask Magicator. I don't even think we've got in the pack. We haven't, have we? Yeah. It's on Arsenal. Oh, there's more stuff added to that by the look of it. Oh, no. That's, that's Galactic Craft stuff. Galactic Craft. Oh, Mars. Okay. Ask Magic. We haven't got Ask Magicator. But, even though we haven't got Ask Magicator, the flakes are still there. But, um, as well as Ardite and Cobalt, uh and manillion I guess. I don't know what maybe not manillion. I don't see any one manillion coloured. No, because manillion don't comes an R, of course it don't idiot. It's an alloy it's an alloy. So I don't cobalt we can triple up in there rather than doubling up, so that's good to know. Um so while I'm out here, while I remember, I went for a little journey in a boat yesterday when I was uploading um utopia video and the world seems to be all right now so whatever it was that I changed it seems to be changed back so all this ugly stuff is all right what i did notice was there there was a thumbcraft totem thing with a chest in it so i went and tried to get lucky i was hoping for maybe a portal gun or um bucket <laughs> or something else uh, some of the stuff i got was in there freezing spray some banding agents from a uh, blood magic a record this thing, Nightstone, not sure that does yet, not looked. Um, I've got some things from that. I was looking for something sp specific. Oh, I was looking for Ender Lilies, because I need Ender Pearls. I was hoping that there'd be Ender Lilies, lilies in the chest. But unfortunately, there wasn't, so that's uh, a shame. Now, will these cook up in there? No. Okay. So, I do need to use coal to cook them up. And there, there is our Invar. Wonderful. So, one, two, three, four, five cool do that yeah. five coal do all them so we've got a bit more iron there uh right then so i've quickly made this thing this is called an autonomous activator pneumatic servo piston chest really basic thing and we're going to find a new little hardy hole and um, i'll use this house over here and what we can do with this is if i dig that out there and if I put my essence berry bush there, that should grow in the dark. We want that facing downwards. So that I believe is facing downwards because if you look at the configuration, check that out by the way. Any eye moves out the way for some of the uh, for the thermal expansion stuff. That's really cool. That is the back, so that's the front. That's the back. That'd be the bottom, top, left, right, yeah. So that's the right way. Now we can just bang a chest on there. Whenever that grows essence berries, we should just throw them in there for us. So we've got a nice little XP, little really slow little XP farm going there that we can, of course, expand once we get more essence berry bushes. Uh, there's that bit, little bit done. Now induction smell there. There's two reasons why I'm doing this. One reason is I've got this redstone power. 
this redstone flux power up here. Let's burn in coal at a minute though. But, uh, right, what do we need for this? We need copper and in that and a bucket. Damn it, I have to use my bucket up. Um, so copper. I've got my in there. I've got a bucket. I've got my machine frame. I've got my redstone conductance coil. There we go. That gets us an induction smelter. Now you've got some power, in, so I don't really want to waste you. This is a uh, hem. Um, so shoddy, just sla slamming everything like this. Now I want to face you. There we go. <laughs> One way of doing it, eh? Um, so, can I tell anyone? Or tell anyone? Enable though. There we go. He's going to start putting power in there for us. Sweet. And now with a bit of sand and a, ah, and a redstone block, I need to. Go and silk touch some redstone, don't I? I have not got any silk touch redstone. I should be back in a minute with a bit of silk touch redstone. Di, 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 di. Okay, then, here I am. I have got a couple of. I just went into the uh, Twilight Forest cave with my silky pickaxe, grabbed a couple of bits of redstone ore. Oh, so, just how this works. So, that doesn't take a great deal of power either, does it? Awesome. So, there's one. And. There's two great stuff. What we're going to do with one of these is. Oh, we did need lava in there because we need it for this. And let's change that. Won't you? And that's got sucked into there yet. Yeah. Change that for the basin. And I'm going to put nine gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into there. Make us a gold block. So that should make us a gold block. That wants to be turned on. And that'll automatically put it in there for us when we're ready. That's towards the um, the potion thing, of course. Now, where's... Uh, you'll go in there. There you go. And this other one, we can now use to make a... Let's do an energy cell. Let's do an energy cell. We need lead and glass. Easy enough. One, two, three, four. I think I've done that wrong. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep, so press C to rotate. Thank you. Let's do an energy cell frame. Wonderful. And then what do I need? Three copper and a conductance coil, which needs electrum. Hmm. I haven't got any electrum yet, have I? So electrum is gold and silver. So I need to grind some gold and silver up. And uh, we'll grind these up while we're waiting for the gold block to make so this will let me actually oh bollocks that was quicker than I expected it to be see if Greg's messing with this as well he has luck so instead of getting 8 I only get you're an absolute whore Greg I hope you know that an absolute whore um, I'll put that in there when they're done uh, we've got space very quickly everywhere. Just got no no space. Need more big chests. I need to actually commit some iron to chests and make bigger chests. I think. Uh, I wonder. What can I cook you up? Induction smelter. I need two. Damn it, Greg. <laughs> um, come on, you hurry up. There we go. That'll get me the one bit of electrum I need. I need two. It's done. For that as well. So I did. Oops. I want you up there. Oh. Come on there. That's run out. Ziff. Electrum ingot. Conductions coil, wonderful, and then three copper. One, two, three. Awesome, gets me lead to an energy cell. Done not hold massive amount of energy, but rather than keep wasting energy in these things, uh, I can just give it the right amount of energy it needs. So I am actually going to have to waste some energy at the minute, so I'm going to drop the pulverizer out. Blunk. <laughs> and uh, put that up there. This is so shabby the way I'm doing this. And face that upwards again. I think that's upwards. Put it back to low. And that guy. 
it's getting energy sweet so i can fill that lead to an energy cell up then use that as a portable battery now so i can space these now this was all temporary until i got that i can space these out and i can use a battery to place them where i actually want to put the power in so that's that's a, a little positive achievement we've got let's uh let's sling you in there for now i'll, ne I'll never find them again probably so right this uh potion crystal thing i ah uh, i need to actually break this one this is quite dangerous because if this doesn't work uh, i'm gonna be out so let's have a look magenta potion crystal all right magenta potion crystal needs four of these so i believe that's two worth i need a bit of glowstone so i need to go back to the hollow hill anyway so i'll go show you what the hollow hills rocking like the fps has fallen over What's going on? Let me uh, change the zone see if my FPS drops back up. No, my FPS is down at 9. What the hell's going on there? One thing I need. I'm going to have to cut camera in a minute see if there's something wrong with my PC. This is not good. One thing I need is one of them still touched. So, there we go. There's a glowstone block. And then I'm going to need my other magenta crystal, which is currently... Oh man, FPS, what are you doing to me? It's currently down here. It's going to be blocked off like that. And then, um, I didn't actually man these with fortune before, so I don't know if these actually give you more crystals if you're doing with fortune. But here's my other one. I was just... Uh, there's actually another one over there as well. So let's... Oh, this is dangerous with this FPS as well. Let's man this one up. Let's see if we we'll just get two. Yeah, we get two. Okay. That's alright though. That's fine. Let's break that one as well. Oh no, look. We've got three there, did we? Oh man, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to stop. Hmm. Oh yeah, fortune. Must have worked. Because I've got a load then. I've got six from that second one. That's weird. So I've actually got enough to make two things. Sweet. So I can place one in here. Now I'm not sure if these things wear out. But, uh, I can place one in here and I can place one back at the base. So let's head back. Tell you what, I'll cut camera a bit. I'll see if something's wrong with my PC. I'll see if I'm running out of disk space or something. And I shall uh, be back in a bit. Okay, something I forgot. My, uh, my FPS seems a little better. Nothing's changed, it just went back up after about five minutes. Weird. Uh, something I forgot, you need to put a uh, servo into these. You know that thing, that little, uh, that guy there. Pneumatic servo, it's glass, iron, redstone. It's a right click one of them onto this bit now, and that gives you this screen where you can set the redstone control from. So I actually had to set it to output, and I had to put a servo in there to make it make my gold block. So there it is, one gold block, wonderful. Redstone block, glowstone block. Four of them, and then two obsidian. Obsidian, where are we at? Gets me this wonderful creature, magenta potion crystal. And if I place that there, look at that. Gives me five minutes of regen three. Ridiculous. So I've got regen three, I can go into Twilight Forest or whatever. And I've still got four and a half minutes worth. I can make another one down here because I've got. I can actually make another, uh, another two. So I'm going to make another two of them. I can place one down here, so I've got regen all the all the, all the while while I'm fighting. Cheated that, innit? Um, so Geostrat is very strong, very strong indeed. So there we go. There's the there's the first thing I want to do in this video done. So let's head back into there. That's just refreshed. Wonderful, and. Magenta Potion Crystal is done. Uh, what's next then? Control Farm Sheet Farm. Meh, meh, meh. Plate Bending Machine. Um, tell you what, one other thing I'm going to do before I go anywhere else is I am going to grab that redstone cell from up there. Something I forgot to do with it. And what we can do is get rid of them. Get away. And uh, if we put that there and put four invite around it, it makes it into a hardened cell. So instead of only holding uh was that 400,000 which is 40,000 mjs 
and I'll now hold two million. Sweet. And it keeps whatever charge you add in it as well. So put that back up there. And uh, I'll stick another. You put them ready. Yes. And I shall stick a stack of coal in there like that. Make me some power. So I've got some power for making things. Cool. I shall be back when I work out what's next. Okay, I'm back then. I've had a bit of a weird issue. The... Um, <clears throat> I was trying to make a gold block, and it was just eating more and more gold, so I've actually just been into, uh, switched into cheat mode and spawned myself the block, the ingots that I lost, and I ended up using um, all of them, I had like three left in my inventory, and I still didn't have a gold block, so some of it was going weird here, so I've actually turned that off until I've got nine ingots, I've also got six nuggets in there that I need to get out as well, but, um, Anyway, now that now that I've actually got the liquid nine in there, is that going to actually do it better? Let's see. So that might actually need all nine in. Oh, look, I haven't done it. So that maybe isn't such a good idea after all. Why you do that, fool? So it might work all right on the ingots, but see, it worked on that first block though, didn't it? I'll just turn that chest wrong, damn it. Worked on the first block, right, but not on this one. So I've got no idea how to get that out of there now, um, but what's that showing in there? It's showing six. Why are you showing six? Oh, do I need to pulse it in? Well, that's weird. Come on. What's in there now then? Uh, one nugget, one ingot I mean. So this again should make it into a bizarre. What the hell's going on? So that maybe doesn't interact as well as I initially thought. So there's one ingot, one nugget in there. Turn on. No, you're not having it? So look, that's not good in. Okay, let's uh, let's take this guy out and let's try with oops, try putting that guy back on. Let's see if we get our gold block. We do. Hooray! What's in there? Six nuggets. What? I'll pull them into there. I say that's extra stuff that I shouldn't have had anyway. I'm just going to break that to get rid of it. So, weird goings on there. So, maybe um, that might not work as nice as I thought it did at first. So, I'll probably, for now, until I learn a little bit more about that, I'll probably go back to that and I'll make a lever and put a lever onto that. Um, I shall leave the casting bench there because I think I'm going to make all my ingots in the grander, the uh, rotary craft grander. Now, we've got plenty of power. Look at that. It's full. Sweet. Uh, I wonder how much coal I've wasted, because uh, I forgot to turn that off. Um, so that's full, I've wasted some coal, I think. Uh, I've got that hardened energy cell, so what I can do now with that, of course, is I can make like a buildcraft filler, and I can use the power in that to power the filler, so I can move that around with me very nicely. So that's good. Um, what I want to do, uh, just to finish the episode off, I'm going to have to finish up quick because I'm streaming in about 40 minutes. I need to start getting ready for that. So let's check if this has created me any XP yet. No, none. Okay. Is it, is it even grown? Let's have a look. It's grown, but there's a... Uh, no berry grown yet. Okay. This, eventually, I'll be doing with dark glass and stuff like that. It'll look a lot better. But, um... Yeah, strange. Oh, that's not actually grown any yet. I thought, I thought it would give me at least one by now. So, what I wanted the gold block for was... So this... Fire shards, we already had some fire crystals, and um, there was one down under there. It was the first one I actually found before. I think my mic's touching my beard again. I hope it's not making a noise. Um, that lets us make an orange potion crystal, which should give me five minutes of fire resist. Awesome. So let's go and see what we can do in the nether. See if this stays on us. Check me out. I am omnipotent um possibly not omnipotent but i can now go into here and these guys are gonna burn me put fire resist on so i can get myself loads 
Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pigman. I didn't see you in there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, run away. <laughs> Oh, what's a pig man doing in there? Hiding on all them blazes. But see, look, the uh, remember I've not got natural region on. So look how much, how quick that regions, regions freeze pushed me back up. Awesome. So uh, I've now got blaze rods. Hooray! And what I'm going to work towards, that's what I wanted blaze rods for, is blaze powder. And what I want blaze powder for is I am going to work towards, the next thing I'm going to work towards in the next episode, now I think the stream I'm going to do in half an hour is going to be on this server, so I might actually get it done on the stream, if I do it will be shown over the weekend, but what I'm going to work towards is a flux battle wrench, flux infused, spell that wrong, flux infused, let's uh, go battle wrench way then, Oh, it's a flux hyphen infused battle range. I'm going to go for one of them guys. For that, we need obsidian rods, we need flux crystals. Flux crystals need a fluid transposer and diamonds and liquid redstone. So, I'm going to be working towards that. So, that's going to be the next episode. And after that, I need to really start getting cows and sheep. I need to get I need a wool sauce and I need, um, I need a leather and steak sauce. So, I'm going to cut the episode there. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope it's entertaining. I've not got a lot done, but I've got things that are quite powerful done so um there's a full set of these joseph gave me the link to the geostrata website that lists all of them uh, you can just find it by putting in geostrata in google it's one of raker's mods so it's the same as rotary craft and um, possibly a bit overpowered maybe um especially with no region on it's uh and the fact that blood magic's in the pack. Anyway, um, as I said at the start of the episode, please let me know what you think about dropping Galactic Craft temporarily until it works with blood magic or waiting until it works to start blood magic. So there's the two options. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope I see you next time. Cheers. Bye.